manner so suppose if uh, i have a room and uh, in this room uh, i have a party going on so in this party there are around uh, 10 or 20 people uh, who entered from this door and now they are standing here right so these people will not just stand there because there is a big room right so they will randomly move around in this room and slowly if you look with time so after some time this room will be filled with people and they will be all randomly distributed within the room so why these people moved inside the room right can you ask these people to just stay in this part so you can do it either way one is that you have to uh, put a wall here or you have to ask everyone or push everyone to go into this corner mm -hmm. so even if you push them and bring them in this corner they will slowly again go back and distribute into the room why is that because everybody likes to be free and everybody likes to just roam around right and this is the same thing which will happen suppose if you have a camp going on in a forest so uh, again if you have a big forest uh, and then uh, there is a campground with kids in the middle then the kids will randomly move around into the forest right they would like to explore and go around so because everybody likes to be free and then you have to put a lot of efforts to make sure their kids don't go far and you want to keep them inside right so this is what is called entropy entropy means the tendency to be free to move around to go out in the circle right so same thing happens with the particles so suppose if i am looking at another room and i am sitting in the center and i open a bottle of perfume so then these these are molecules around me so these molecules i won't be able to keep them with myself they have to move around they will go around in the room and everybody will be able to smell the perfume because the molecules also likes to be free and they move they move here and there they will move around right so the only way for me to not let this molecules move is to kill their energy but how will i kill their energy similar thing you can do here if you don't want these kids to be around you have to kill their energy how will you kill don't give them food or all they, they are sick or something happens or suppose they um, uh, they they hurt themselves and now they cannot move right so they have the energy because they, they are kids and they eat and and uh, they have energy similarly these molecules they have a temperature as a source of energy so the temperature gives them energy and that is defined by boltzmann constant so these particles have uh, kt uh, as an energy so don't worry about the boltzmann constant just remember that energy is proportional to uh, temperature and that proportionality constant is k which is a boltzmann constant and that energy give them kinetic energy and uh, and that way this particle will move with the velocity of 2 kt divided by m right so these particles are moving around and this is what we call the force of entropy if we don't have entropy most of the reaction in this world will not happen because everything which happens even in our body or outside this world this happens because the energy happens this energy give these molecules uh, uh, enough ability to move around explore and react with another molecules they want to react with right now this is the concept of entropy so for every reaction in biology or physics or chemistry we, we come up with the concept of entropy now let's talk about enthalpy so what is enthalpy so now again go back to this room and uh, in this room we have lot of random people and now we want to move them to one corner how will we move that we will put a bar here so suppose if there is a bar now because we have a bar this person will say oh let me have a drink so let me have a drink and slowly you will see that now there are less people dispersed in this area 
and most of the people are here right so this is a, a force field which you applied uh, to bring everyone together so this is the energy now because they have this force field this is what we call as enthalpy right uh, again the concept of molecules so suppose if i have these molecules which are randomly distributed in this room and then i have another uh, system which reacts with this molecule and there is a uh, enthalpy associated with it for example suppose if these are all a's and this is a b and we can say that b plus a uh, is a uh, exothermic reaction right so what will happen is then when b and a combines so that become b a then they this a is now cannot move around so they just go there and stick there so they cannot move so this is what is called enthalpy so they 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 have this enthalpic force which force them to stay here and that overcomes the entropic force right so that's why we have to balance between the enthalpic and entropic forces so when there is a reaction going on we call a free energy that is a combination of enthalpy and entropy right so we call it uh, uh, delta h minus t delta s so when something is happening so suppose if you are calculating a rate of reaction for example uh, this is a kinetic constant so what we do is we calculate this kinetic constant at different temperatures so this is the temperature and this is kinetic constant and we calculate it at different temperatures and how this temperature how this kinetic constant is sensitive to the temperature that gives us the the idea about how the entropy is going on so what is the contribution of entropy in this particular reaction and whatever uh, is not uh, the function of temperature that is the enthalpic value of that uh, reaction and the total itself is a free energy so as you might have heard about it that if the free energy is negative then the reaction is spontaneous it will happen by itself so most of the biological reaction uh, happens in our body uh, because of uh, the free energy being negative and uh, entropy taking part of it so if we go to zero temperature so zero degree k then you are basically killing the entropic part of any reaction and basically all the reaction in the body will cease uh, because they are not moving in the random way so um, I, I try to cover a lot of concept in a very simple manner here but uh, uh, we'll have the details of each concept more in our more videos so i hope this uh, video is a good summary and uh, we'll uh, talk about this more in the more videos